Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, Gaming Token here. Hi, I said it already. Uh, welcome to Europa Universalist playthrough with Florence with the goal of restoring the Roman Empire. The year is 1578 and after some very hard pushed conflict, as you can see there's a lot of people who dislike us and there's a big coalition targeted at Florence. Is the coalition. Um, well, uh, we made a lot of enemies, but uh, our relentless drive towards uh, restoring, uh, or actually forming a united Italy is finally at an end. We have taken uh, Milan, Brescia, and Mantua from uh, <laughs> Milan as of late, and we have also take Modena, uh, took Modena from Ferrara. Okay, we'll have a lot of these messages. The point is, is uh, to try and ignore them. Now we need new rivals, uh, new healthy rivals, and right now the Ottomans are unfortunately uh, the, the prime target. The problem is that uh, Russia doesn't target the Ottomans as a rival, or the Ottomans, uh, excuse me, the Muscovites don't target Ottomans as a rival, which is a problem. It means that we'll have to do the heavy lifting in this conflict, I'm afraid, and have a war with these guys, uh, who are Swedish rivals and enemies. The papal state of all the people. Um, not really uh, like much of a concern. Let's see, Poland. I think we're going to rival Poland because we want the Muscovites to like us. And they are extremely useful as an ally. We don't want anyone who could be friends with the Ottomans. We don't need more problems with these people. Because, uh, let's be honest, uh, the Ottomans are going to be our greatest enemy in wars to come. They are the big boy and they are strong. With that being said, let's uh, repay the loan. Yeah, excellent. With that being said, we uh, actually need to move to Crimea. We have some business there to attend. And as we are, of course, uh, coring Mantua, we won't be lazy. We'll be very busy, 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 busy. And we'll do some good work in uh, Crimea, where we already have established a major presence by cutting off Muscovites from uh, Azov, Sea of Azov and Black Sea. This, this has been very good for us. And frankly, uh, going to war with Poland is at this point a given. I think it will be actually quite beneficial to do so. Now, uh, can we declare war on them? No Cassus Belly. Well, then let's. Uh, we could actually vassalize them, which will save us the hassle, but really, I think we'll go to war. And since we have such an awesome inflation reduction value, 15 admin points is basically free. And we can afford it, for sure. So, yeah, this is uh, excellent. Time is flowing, tick tock, tick tock. Uh, at the moment, we have a Cassus Belly against the Trebizonians. We're going to say them a little uh, unfriendly hello. Build a few more galleys because we need a warship fleet. And what, what is our uh, war fleet actually? Well, perhaps you should move to the mainland because we don't need to waste soldiers in a silly fashion. Okay, uh, this is looking really good. Do we have a place to build new markets in? Not really. Uh, of course, Syracuse and Corsica. Thought you'd never ask. And we can make Valencia a state, which is superbly valuable right now. Uh, it will increase our trade income, I think, considerably. All things considered, do we have the points for that? Uh, I think we actually do. So, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's score everything for 200 points and uh, just as I was afraid. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. No, we're not 
really. We could give this to the clergy. I mean, uh, what's the harm in that? Or you just give them Malta. It produces fish and they aren't particularly valuable to us. So the problem with uh, estates is solved. We could ask for contribution. It doesn't cost us much. But truth be told, I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, let's, let's take it. It's free. Truth be told, I don't know if it's worth it. Several hundred gold. Uh, yeah, sure, let's ask. There's no negatives to doing that. Well, I must say there's some more manufacturers to build within our most esteemed trade node, so let's get on with that. Uh, excuse me, yeah, let's check out state edicts. This isn't the only state in which we should have this edict. Uh, frankly, uh, trade power should also be placed in Liguria and in Valencia. I know it reduces our income considerably, but uh, it's worth it. Influence to 60, loyalty by 2%, it's worth it, yeah. Yeah, most definitely we are going to give this to the burgers, as they will increase our trade power in the region to absurd amounts. Soon we will be able to achieve the status of sole uh, trade controller within Genoa, which will allow us to focus on uh, Sevil Sevilla, uh, Tunis and Alexandria trade notes. Uh, Ragusa is already ours, so that would require establishing control over Constantinople. This trade note is working rather slow. Muscovy. Well, I suppose there's a room for an agreement here. Who doesn't? Leading vassal, alliance, military access alliance, alliance leading vassal. Well, uh, I suppose the Moroccan alliance might be chopped, should it come to that. But we are definitely establishing an alliance with Muscovy. Because let's be honest, with Muscovites as our allies, we and them can take down the Mamluk, uh, excuse me, the Ottomans, and that is ultimately what we aim at. Plus, uh, no one will touch us regarding um, coalition. So. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the time has come to make a historical moment and form the Italian nation. With all said and done, I think this is the time to go. We are of course staying Republican because it's fun. We are taking the new traditions because they are great. So, Italian ideas. Uh, global trade power and improved relations by 50%. And we have stability costs army combatability, galley cost and combatability, uh, national manpower modifier which gives us 74,000 at this point, tax, income, prestige and finally we'll get co-creation cost. I mean what's not to love this is, this is sweet and we get the claim on the entirety of Italy. And there's a lot to conquer here still, so... I say... Let's go for it. Oh yeah, a coalition. <laughs> yeah, so... As left... As you can see, after forming Italy... Opinion of states is still bad, but the aggressive, but they are no longer in a coalition against us. Uh, so we are safe. The problem has disappeared, and quite frankly, we 
might go a little offensive on retaking Italian land. Lombardy will need to be a state and acquiring it will be extremely expensive. So let's take it slow because we'd like to take that separatism option. Move our fleet here. Okay, so trade ships are being built as we speak. This is of course the knife. And yes, uh, our hero Cosimo Corsini dies at the age of 69 after realizing his lifelong dream of uh, creating a Uta united Italian state. He has managed to do that despite the greatest of odds placed against him and he will be remembered as a hero of the Italian people. With the mantle of great uh, Cosimo Corsini, uh, excuse me, with Cosimo Corsini dead, who will take the mantle of leadership in our Grand Republic? Mr. Medici, Mr. Carda, or Grimaldi? All these candidates come from respected families. And right now, the military candidate, Mr. Grimaldi, will need to take. Uh, um, and resolute hold over the Republic for we are stable but we have plenty of enemies to conquer and deal with and this will require our state to shine through difficult times and Mr. Grimaldi is just as calm as Mr. Corsini who was well known for that fact so yeah another calm leader through those difficult times and I suppose a firing infantry is better and slowly getting at that point where well, it is better so yeah I can't really argue with that Trebizond is now core so it means that we can attack it and we will do so we want to take Trebizond of course we are interested in taking uh, Theodoro. Though actually this is rather tempting now that I think of it. Uh, let's continue improving relations with Muscovy. And it's uh, they are in a coalition now against us. Uh, that means that we won't be able to kill them. I'll try to kill them, but everything has its moment. So, ladies and gentlemen, there are three coalition members to challenge us. They are in trade league with some little states that cannot really hurt us. So, yeah, we are number two, the, the Ottomans still challenge. This is going well, and uh, we need, but we cannot uh, finish just like that nice and easy no 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 we need to work hard and continue increasing our influence in Seville because we have five years for a war with Spain and okay let's see we have the decision here to restore Roman Empire Italy France Iberia Balkans Anatolia Mashrik additional affairs Tunis Kashir Cairo, I mean London, Yorkshire, Zealand and uh, Vienna. So actually a change of plans. I forgot about Vienna completely. Uh, we'll move towards it and take it after restoring our control over Italy. So that's that. Uh, it's improved those relations and uh, have triply annexed. I mean there's no harm in that, right? Certainly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, there's a lot of wine production which facilities which we can improve so that's what we're going to do 
since we are going for Mara Nostrum, we need a little more than just uh, the lands of the uh, Roman Empire. Where's that, actually? Suakin. The Red Sea Coast and the whole of Africa belonging to Adal. Playing war on these people would mean war with Kaffa. A blobbing, actually. But what is the result of re reward for this? Recovery speed, not really worth it. Uh, so, yeah, not really worth it. We need to focus on Europe. Like, seriously, focus on Europe. Our enemy are now Ottomans, so... Yeah, they have a uh, hundred provinces. We have a little less than that. And they have more ships and force limits. Well, we need to deal with that as well. Naval superiority is absolutely essential in this conflict. We'll need a lot of galleys, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to start preparing for a war with the Ottomans. So yeah, let's make it a part of our state and we'll need to core some land, Milan that is, and get clergy and nobility loyal. Mm, yeah, we can give some of this to other people. 343 three is good for the Balias. Clergy and nobility. Excellent. Problem solved. This is looking fine. Theodoro is now in the fold. We are improving relations with Tripoli in order to annex our subject. We are increasing our fleet force limit in order to deal with the Ottomans. The moment we get control over the Straits of Bosphorus we win this war. Ah, yeah, this is excellent, so not only don't we lose anything here, we have autonomy, which doesn't matter. We uh, get a free point in Roma. Now, uh, Tuscany, uh, it's still rich. Yeah, so good. Tuscany works. And yeah, it's, that's the way you get Italy for. Wow, this is worth a lot. And it will be worth even more. As soon as we manage to call Milan, that is. Uh, well, we have a lot of power projection, though we are losing a lot at the same time. We'll get well for just lose stability. And this sucks. But oh well, I suppose you can't help it. I think we'll need to start investing into artillery more. It is becoming the prime method of warfare. Now the question is, do we need... Uh, I think we yeah, are... I mean, I see no reason why shouldn't we take it. So, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's take this land, control it, and be done with that. Good, so that's that, I suppose. And I think we'll need to put in... Yeah, this is fine. This isn't a problem. Let's recall. We have done the mission uh, some time ago. So, yeah, this is perfectly fine. We have the troops. And let's move our forces to Trebizond to finish this war. Because, let's be honest, we don't really need anything else here. Well, this would be a nice staging point to a war against the Ottomans. I mean, can we butcher? 
hundreds of thousands of Ottoman troops within those mountains? That is the real question here. They have 162,000 in the field. Me, France and Muscovy can equal that number, but nothing more. And that is a problem. They have quality ideas, so that makes the troops really elite. Hmm. Well, a problem indeed. I we'll need to find a way to... Well, this is uh, surprising. Milan has allied Ottomans. Despite us, of course, but still hurts. Okay, so let's send in the cavalry. Uh, finish this and get done with it. Of course, let's send trade ships to Sevilla. And this is looking nice. So Trebizond is not more. <laughs> uh, luckily, we don't really care about that. Uh, it's still a lot of Indians present over there. I wonder what's happening in China right now. Uh, we won't know for quite a while now, but always curious. So, yeah, we'll have to wait a little while for the Papal States. Though, so, non stop war 24 7. We need to get that coastline and we need Granada in order to fabricate in Morocco. Then we can think about Tunisia without Ottoman interference. We can think about Tunisia anyway because they will fight us if we fight the Ottomans. Well, the point is simple. We need to get the Russians involved in a war with the Ottomans. There's no way around it. It will take a while. Excellent. So, tech unlocked. Milan Accor. And this is going nice. increasing in size. Can we get the burgers? Uh, still no home ports equal to 10. Oh well. Go to Sevilla and control that. We need that trade income. Nice and juicy. Nice and juicy. Okay. Uh, rebels in our allies army area uh, they will be dealt with rather quickly soon we'll be able to annex these people and as Serbia as well and wow this is annoying uh, let's Let's get the job done. Wait a second, Kubai. Trebizond occupies their own provinces. Uh, do we need anything else from Polish? Not really. Good. So, Bonaventura, pity. Uh, let's let's get this over with. Okay, and Italian vassal. Trebizond as my vassal would mean staging ground to fight against the Ottomans in a very unwelcoming part of the world, but uh, Georgians are better. Simple as that. Simple as that. Georgia no longer rival. War reps sit. And Theodoro is ours. Crimea is ours. The problem is <laughs> An easy war like that. Now, uh, it will be pleasant to fight in a conflict like this. 
We are not spending any expense on that matter. What about... oh yeah, well, can't help it. I suppose. Uh-huh, yeah, Cagliari is becoming very valuable after building uh Wait, what? Can't we just walk? Can't we just walk through Austria? I mean, yeah, seriously, just give me military access. And let me walk through your lands, unimpeded. We'll see what happens then. Yeah, we will definitely need more troops. But first and foremost, navy. The biggest priority we have right now. Good. Uh, what are the... Well, 33% already. Let's move in hard and take over whatever the hell that, that is to take. And yeah, good job. So we don't need these troops here anymore. We can retreat to our heartland, get Tripoli annexed, and start moving towards uh, Constantinople. Uh, war with the Ottomans is inevitable. Well, first and foremost, we'll go to Valencia. We'll stage some forces there. Let's be frank, we'll need the troops here because a war with the Spanish is coming. With the allied with uh, the papal state, good. So we'll be able to take the Pope out. And that's pretty much that. Moving forward, having a blast, a lot of success and excellent regiment cost. Getting closer to that wonderful path to citizenship. And this guy is pretty old, unfortunately, but oh well, we'll take him. Uh huh, yeah, trade station. Let's take Praga, Pujajovice and continue the good work we've been doing thus far. Oh yeah, yeah, we uh, need to reunite our ships. Castr Ibrim. And do you have some allies? I don't. Well, this is actually really good. Let's just hire Three mercs, declare, get it done with. It should be enough, right? Yeah, oh, there's more of them here. So we'll need to actually send an army. Oh well, not that big of a deal. Maybe we probably better go and join the forces in Prague. This is looking good. Where is uh, the rest of our forces? Are there in Valencia? Of course, in sunny Spain. Well, we could move back here. I mean, there's no trouble in that. Um, no, our transport fleet is busy right now. How big is the Lodian army? Well, uh, it's tiny. Just ask them for access. Thank you. And let's send in the troops. We don't really need to send anyone there. We can just do it with uh, local uh, industrious mercenary initiative, I'd say. We can hire six mark units to get it done. And no one can really stop us. I mean, what tech are they? They are 13, so they are kinda good. I will have a battle and I think we might actually lose it. Let's see how this actually goes. So Prague is going... means that the Bohemians will be out of the war most likely. And yeah, uh, yeah they have shit morale. 
Yeah, they are cockpit, so they have better discipline, but we are winning uh, this battle. This is hilarious. Let's get more money. And no, we can actually mop all this piece, so I think no, no reason not to. Ah, uh, Bohemians out. We are out of this war. So we can safely move towards the Papal State. GG, good job. Get wrecked, I suppose. So, 9,000 troops should be enough to take this fort. And yeah, uh, get it over with. Good job. Good job. We are moving towards that empire status and we are getting uh, our points faster than the Ottomans do, so yeah. Well, these people really don't like us now, do they? Mercenary discipline at this point, why not? And yeah, uh, going extremely fine. And here we go, 9,000 mercenaries hired. Army maintenance being rather high due to uh, corruption problem. Uh, excuse me, uh, over the force limit problems. Uh, huh, amazing attrition for enemies. This is perfect, and we need 30 ships and trade fleet. Yeah, money is really precious right now, and war with Spain is coming again. Oh. Centuries of warfare ahead of us, behind of us, and every side of us, but it is necessary. Uh, we could do that. Uh, the burgers won't be loyal. Oh, we could really show the priests where the place is, and I suppose that's what we should do. No one is going to treat burgers like shit, except me. So, that's a no no, Mr. Priest. You should know your place a little better. Now these people are entering and leaving those coalitions against us, but oh well. What can you do? Lots of allies and... Well, the wars are getting more and more difficult, I suppose. We are stronger as well. So, I suppose that's why. Soon our domination of uh, the seas of Mediterranean will be complete. Ah oh, damn, uh, Mr. Corsini has died, a very competent general, one that we have really respected. Though Mr. Gamba Corta or Jamba Corta will be our worthy successor. So, luckily for us, our lovely Italian state is capable of creating peoples, excuse me, people worthy of uh, the title of a general. So yeah, let's move a little bit faster because right now we are waiting for the peace deal to end, or the truce deal to end. Afterwards we're going to of course continue our offensive. Melodian's going hard on Castro Ibrim, a problem. Oh, lovely. Of course, we're going to demand payments in full and build plantations for that, most likely. Of course, in Valencia, manufacturing, and in Palermo. We continue to invest in our most important trade mills. So, army maintenance, fleets. Uh, despite having 30 fleets of ships over the force limit, we are paying very small penalties. Uh, we want on Grimbaldi, he's kinda old. Uh, let's keep him. Uh, that we need those points badly. Oh, come on, dude. Let, uh, come on, mercenaries. You can do better. Jesus, these people are slow. 
Are you at war with the Ottomans? Oh, the Ottomans are at war with France, Poland, Lithuania. Impressive. I, I suppose they'll lose it, most likely, uh, because they are not really a match for the army of the Ottomans. Okay, Great Britain as our rival, just dandy. Let's get Castle Ibrahim and finish this because we don't really need it. Good and done. Money, war reps, trade power, no really need. Done. The easiest mission ever. We no longer need those troops. And no mission available actually. So yeah, I think it's high time we unmoff all this fleet and start going after the Spaniards with wanton cruelty. Yep, and there's a military coalition. The Spaniards are not in a coalition, so that's good. And <laughs> the Ottomans aren't as well. Let's start annexing uh, Tripoli. We really need to. Mm. No, Serbia. Let's annex Serbia. Then we can actually embrace some cultures. War is over. This is nice. Sweden has grown considerably. Four favors. Always nice. Crimea on the map. What we'll get. But they are guaranteed. So naturally, our uh, war is finished. That was fast. Interesting. I don't think they actually won it, surprisingly enough. So, what about the truce? Yep, truce is over. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I will end this episode. The next one will begin on a strong upper note as we delve into another conflict with the Spanish. And the stakes are higher than ever. I think we actually need to do this, but we can't because we're losing stability. So this is a drain of our resources. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. Uh, next episode will be about the war with Spain and the continuous unification of Italy and moving towards that uh, Mare Nostrum achievement. Thank you for your time. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And bye bye.